Good morning, those who are watching us uh, today. This is our first time to broadcast live from the first service, and we want to welcome you. Church, let's put our hands together and make some noise and welcome them. Welcome to this wonderful church service. We believe that as you listen to the word of God, you will begin to see Jesus Christ as a savior. And we believe that your life will never be the same again. Church, let's tell them, your life will never, ever be the same again. Church, lift up your Bibles and let's make a declaration that we make every Sunday. Everybody, let's say, this is my Bible. This is my Bible. It is the word of God. I am what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. I shall have what it says I shall have. And today, my heart is open to receive a word from heaven. And my life will never, ever be the same again. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for your word. Your word is clear. It says faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of the Lord. I stand here as your servant to declare the oracles from heaven. I thank you for directing me this week, putting a rema word for your people. And I thank you for gathering them. They did not gather here for any other reason but to hear from you. And so I submit myself to your will, that not my will but your will be done. Not my words but your words come out of my mouth. I pray that, Father, you will be able to, to usher me to preach your word and you usher your people to hear your word. And when faith comes, their lives will never be the same. We pray for those who are listening to us on Facebook Live, that those who are not saved, they will get saved today. We thank you that as we talk about descending of spirits, that we'll walk out here so wiser because of the word of God, that we shall descend spirits and put them in their place. We pray for our children as they go for children ministry. Bless them in these 40 minutes remaining that they will learn about you and know you and walk with you. We pray for those who are going for discipleship class that God will ground them, that they'll be true disciples of Jesus Christ. This we pray in Jesus' name and God's people will say amen. amen. Future, yes. we won't stop. We Hallelujah. Today, I want to take you to the third spiritual gift. I want to take you to the third spiritual gift. We are in the year of restoration. We are in a year where God is restoring what we have lost as individuals, as families, even as churches. And one of the things that we are claiming and we want restoration is the spiritual gifts, is the spiritual gifts. And we have learned that God would like this church to experience the word of knowledge. God would like us to experience the word of wisdom. But today, I want to share with you that God wants us also to flow in and receive the gift of descending of spirits. So my topic today is descending of spirits. And uh, we are going to say, we won't stop until we see it. Future... I want us to turn to this passage of scripture, read it, and then we'll take our seats. 1 Corinthians 12, verse 6 to, uh, to, to 11. The Bible says, let's read together, but the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. For to one is given the word of wisdom through the Spirit, to another the word of knowledge through the same Spirit, to another faith by the same spirit, to another gifts of healing, by the same spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another descending of spirits, to another different kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues, but to one the same spirit works all through these distributing to each one individually as he wills. May God bless the reading of his word. Please be seated. Thank you so much. I want to start by saying this. 
that the Holy Spirit, who is invisible, is not the only spirit out there. There are other spirits there. Yes, we have the Holy Spirit who resides in Christians. But the Bible teaches us that Lucifer, the archangel, the worshiper, wanted to ascend above God. And he convinced one third of the angels to follow him. And these are evil spirits and evil demons. And I want you to be aware today that the Holy Spirit is not the only spirit out there. The gift of discernment, therefore, of spirits is greatly needed in our times today. You need the gift of discernment, not just in church, but where you are operating from, even where you stay. May God restore this gift in your life. Since not all spiritual, nat supernatural activity comes from the Holy Spirit, sometimes it can be hard to tell where it originates. This is a quote. Not everything you see in the supernatural manifesting in the physical is coming from the Holy Spirit. It can also come from evil spirits. Therefore, the descending of spirits is needed. The descending of spirits gives supernatural insight into the spiritual world. I pray today you will walk out here more alert spiritually, more alert you can read the radar, you can read in the spiritual world what is going on. To discern, it means to perceive, to see, or to hear. Therefore, descending of spirit is the same as seeing or hearing in the spiritual realms. You'll be able now, by the help of the Holy Spirit in you, to discern what you are seeing happening in the world or in the community. The gift of discerning provides perception into the spirit world, which includes the Holy Spirit, both good and evil. You'll be able to discern the evil angelic beings and individual human be spirits it gives supernatural insight into the spiritual realm. I also want to say that the sending of spirits actually has a more limited range of operation than the other two revelational gifts which we tackled. I shared with you about the word of knowledge and the word of uh, wisdom. These two, they are not limited. But the spirit, the descending of spirit, it's limited to one single class of objects, the spirit world, the spirits. And I want you to distinguish that. You see, when the revelation that comes from the word of wisdom and the word of knowledge comes in your life, it is broader. It applies to people. It can, the Lord can show you places and things like that. But the descending of spirit gives us supernatural insight only in the realm of the spirit. Remember, the descending of the spirit is seeing or hearing into the spirit world. I want you to be alert as we are going out. We are living in a world where there are false, false prophets and false teachers. From today, you'll be equipped in Jesus' name. No evil will befall, will befall you. If you believe this will happen in your life, say Amen. It is also reveals a kind of spirit that is in operation behind a supernatural manifestation. So when you see a supernatural manifestation, don't dive in and think it's the Holy Spirit. Begin to use this gift and you'll be able to discern. I have three points. I have a lot of material. So let me begin quickly. Now I want to, to go to point number one, the need. The Bible actually teaches us that uh, we need to test the spirits. The Bible has never said just walk blindly in this world. The Bible teaches us to test the spirits. In 1 John chapter 4, verse 1, the Bible says, Beloved, talking to Christians, born again believers like you and me, Beloved, do not believe every spirit. That's what the Bible says. 
Don't walk around there believing every spirit. He's cautioning us when we see things happening in the supernatural to question. He says, do not believe every spirit, but instead test the spirits to see whether they are from God. In other words, we don't just have the Holy Spirit who helps and who works on the path of holiness and righteousness. We have evil spirits working there. Don't just whatever you see on TV, you am going there. Don't do that. Test that. Test it. It can be from the devil himself. Dev, demonic from the devil himself. You know, it's a, God has a sense of humor. Since we started talking about this, you remember I told you after teaching you about the, the, the first love, restoration of first love, what did I say to you? I remember well I said, I sought the face of God. What should I teach the church? And God told me, start telling them that the restoration of spiritual gifts will be theirs. Somebody say amen. amen. Little did I know that when we talk about the word of knowledge, and then we talk about the word of wisdom, and then we come to talk about the descending of spirits, that there will be such drama as this week in Zambia. Is it not interesting? God has a sense of humor. But I had prepared and I'm continuing with what the Holy Spirit told me. If He knew what will happen this week. And I'm in the right place at the right time. May we listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Why don't we clap to the Holy Spirit for direction and guidance. Jesus Christ himself warned us. And he said in the last days there shall be too many false prophets. We see it in Matthew 24 and verse 11 to 12. What does it say? Then many false prophets will rise up. See they underlined. False prophets will rise up. And listen to the next thing. Jesus himself said, and deceive many. The deception is targeting not only Christians, I mean non-Christians, but Christians. He says it will dece deceive many. It will, it, you know, crook many. Eh? Deceive many. The word deception or deceive means lying. You know, being crooked, being cornered. Being, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, bakuibila mano. You know, you understand what I'm saying. That the, the false prophets, their job is to deceive you, to confuse you. You think it is real, but it is not real. And then he said, and because lawlessness will abound, the first love of many Christians will grow cold. And this is what we began with: that we need to love God, dear friends. We need to love to read the Bible. When we have a prayer meeting, let's come together. Discern in your spirit that this is a foul spirit telling me not to pray. Why am I not reading the Bible? Discern in your spirit. Refuse it in the name of Jesus. Do you understand what I'm saying? Are you with me, dear friends? Eh? Jesus says that many Christians, their first love, but I say in this church, the Lord is restoring your first love. You shall love Jesus. You shall love to pray. I, I thought I would have some supporters here. I said, you shall love to pray. You shall love now to read your Bible. You shall love gathering together. You shall not miss any service. Even when you have a headache, you'll be in the house of the Lord. And as you come in the house of the Lord, the Lord will heal you. You are strong. You love Jesus. You love the Holy Spirit. You love prayer meetings. You love fasting. You love holiness. You love righteousness. Do I have a witness in the house? Now, I need to warn you. We need to know more about this uh, descending of spirits. Why? Many Christians who have been deceived, they have experienced many severe consequences. The outcome has been bad. There are some false prophets going out there. They say to families, your mother who gave you birth, took you to school, paid for your university, today wants to kill you. And there are people who have divorced their good relationship with their mother because of false prophets. So we see damaging things happening in people's lives by these false prophets. May you discern and know this is from the devil. Don't miss next week as we talk about the gift of prophecy. Why the gift of prophecy is there. 
Don't miss any of this series. Don't miss it. If you miss it, it's the devil deceiving you. You need to be strong now and tell the devil, Nakana, they are church, no. Are you hearing what I'm saying, friends? Today, many of you can stand here and be a witness. There are people who are in church, good churches, they went to false prophets, and now they are divorced. Yeah? You hear the people saying there, they are divorced. Because the false prophet, in his bid to get money from this woman or this man, he, he came up with a plan. You divorce your wife. Your wife is, is, is about to kill you. There is a whole havoc, chaos in families today. People who loved one another, a brother and brother, they loved each other, helped each other in businesses. The prophet came in between. Now they are at logites. Now they hate one another. I bind that in Jesus' name. You shall honor your father and mother. You shall praise your mother for keeping you. And anyone who wants to take that away, you shall say, get out in Jesus' name. You shall love your siblings. You shall love your cousins. You shall love your in-laws. The Bible teaches us to love one another, not to hate one another. We need this gift of discernment. If you can see it, say amen. amen. People have lost direction. They were waking properly at Leke Chitu. Stop working. People who are doing very well in education, stop doing your degree. There is loss of direction and people are making the tours from the destiny God made them because of false prophets. There's deceit that leads to destruction. Some people have hanged themselves, getting confused. Loss of hard-earned finances and property. I am told that these people, they have a spell, the spell which they call forget what I've done to you. That when they take all your cars and all your houses you've levered for, they cast a spell. You just forget instead of taking them to court. And people have lost the houses they have worked for. Yes. I bind the false prophets in your life. Amen. I bind it in Jesus' name. Confusion in the city and even in the land. False prophets can bring confusion in a land. And everybody begins to talk about them. Doubt in your God and your destiny. You know, they begin to say something like, Jesus doesn't have power. God doesn't have power. But the devil has power. And you can't discern this is satanic. And you still want to go there. Give me that bottle of water. I have taught you for years. Don't take, thank you, Lord. Don't take that holy water. Don't take that anointing oil. And now I'm beginning to see it clearly. Some of them, these are charms they sell you. That's why in your family, misery upon misery, wherever and to Jesus never sold water. One day resembling you. Mwilaya kuma prophet saya. Nadi mieba kale ini. Mukabendo shi mwenga mle yanga. Mwile mfo fondelani. Kale na mbo kumieba. No mbolo muamba kukumona. Vena bale shi. Mwile bale mpele chi. Nabe shi. Wale mpele chi tumwa. Bushi kumuwa kesa mieba. Chile ete. Pabantu. Na kale na mieba. Kale na mieba. In Jesus, there is no selling of holy water. There is no selling of holy anointing oil. There is no selling of any cloth. There is no selling of anything. We have faith in Jesus. Do you understand what I'm saying? May the spirit, the gift of discernment be strong in you. May you not be moved by any wind that moves on. I declare your family will be united. Your career shall succeed. You shall be a person of a peacemaker in Jesus' name. Amen. If you are with me, say amen. amen. Point number two, I want to show you a checklist for four spirits that you must be aware of there. Discerning four areas of spirits. Number one, discerning the Holy Spirit. Look at John, because he was a man who walked with God, he discerned the Holy Spirit when the Holy Spirit descended upon the Lord Jesus Christ from heaven like a dove on the, on the day of baptism. Then Jesus Christ came from Galilee to John at, uh, at the Jordan to be baptized by John. 
the Baptist. And John tried to prevent him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and are you coming to me? But Jesus answered and said to him, Permit it be so now, for thus it's fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. John descended the Holy, descending the Spirit, that this is the Holy Spirit in form of a dove coming on Jesus. From today, may God give you that discernment. People who love their wives, people who love their children, people who pray, people who are for holiness, people who are for righteousness, you descend the Holy, they have the Holy Spirit. May they be your friends. May they be your friends. May they be a source of blessing in your life. If you are with me, say amen. The next thing, um, so you know, he descended, he saw the Holy Spirit descending, descending upon uh, Jesus like a dove. I think I spoke about that. The next thing is descending angels. In this dispensation this year, may God help you to descend what? Angels. Scripture says that an angel appeared to Jesus Christ in the garden of Gethsemane when he was praying, when it was a difficult time. He's about to die for you and me. The Bible says the angel appeared to strengthen him. From today, may God open your eyes that you will see the holy angels of Jesus. That maybe when you are stuck in the bush, the angel will come. I believe I've had encounters with angels. The other one I shared with a Bible student. But there's another one I experienced, dear friends. Recent, I was with my family. We were going for holiday. And the vehicle, just 70 k's before, uh, 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 before Musina border, the engine just was boiling. And so we had to put water. We drive, we put water, we drive. At one time, I ran out of water. And I think I had about 10 k's before the border. And I had to take the vehicle there, and they will repair it. You know, in South Africa, they're very good at that. And I ran out of water. There was no village. There was nowhere. And I can't sleep there. And I have, I, I had, you know, my family, I put them on a, another transport. They went ahead in a hotel, but I was with my son. And I, and I, I remember sitting, I'm like, look, this car now here in the bush, tax can come. I had money for holiday. You know, they would just do anything to me. So I walked by and left my child and I just prayed to good my son. And I began to say, Lord Jesus, you better help me now. I've done everything humanly possible. I'm in the bush. I have no water. I don't know. From, when I turned from nowhere, a truck was there. I said a truck just appeared. I have experienced it. And this man comes a very, you know how you know angels? They, they are peaceable. They, we just feel, mm-mm, balance pay out. This guy will kill me. They're just evil. You just sense there's something wrong here. You descend in the spirit. But this one was wonderful. He walks and he says, how are you? And I said, I'm fine. Don't worry. God is with you. How does he know I believe in God? And then he, tell, he comes with water. I said, I, I believe you need water. I said, yes. But how did he know I need water? And he had a container of water. This is God. And then, you know, because I'm in that state of confusion, I say, thank you, man. I pour, I pour water. And he says, okay, you go, I'll be behind. And I'll be driving, and I'm driving, and I'm driving. And as I reach the bed bridge, the bed bridge, the truck disappears. I'm looking for it. I was telling her, I'm looking for this truck. I can't see it. God made sure I reached at the border. We, we crossed over, and we were able to be at the hotel and handed over the car to the mechanics. I'm telling you, this year, may angels visit you. Amen. When you are stuck in a situation, they will come. Amen. They come in two forms. Sometimes they come in human form. But be watchful what they do. They never insult. They are present. They speak scriptures. And when they speak, they comfort you. You feel the anointing. Those are angels. Because you start running instead of getting your answer. So God knows how fearful you are. So he brings an angel packaged like a human person. May you receive angels. Amen. This year may you descend and receive angels. Amen. If you are the one, say amen. amen. The next one you need to descend is to descend a human spirit. From afar, Jesus descended that this man was without guile. 
And this man was Nathanael. In John chapter 1, verse 47 to 48, what does Jesus? He saw Nathanael coming towards him, and he said to him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom there is no deceit. You can, deceit, you, you, you can discern that this person has no deceit. And you remember, Abba Fiesh Valela and Amuchuemba. Atye, Uyumuana, Kwatum Pashu Suma. Because he's kind, no insult. He can wash. There are people, the human spirit is just sweet and decent. As you walk, may you walk and discern Christians. That you discern from a distance and say, This is a born again Christian. One time, my wife was in China. And she was just buying things for her business. But I, I think in the first floor, if I remember, then the other neighbor was a Nigerian born-again lady. And each time she would pass, she would say, how are you? And my wife would answer, I'm blessed. How are you? Again, the following day, I'm blessed. One day she stopped. She says, mm -mm 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 -mm. She says, who are you? She says, um, I'm Judith Muiza. She says, mm -mm 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 -mm. I sense something sweet. You know, you can sense something sweet about Christians. You can sense that in their spirit, there is Jesus. She says, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, are you born again? She says, I'm born again. He says, what else? She says, actually, I am married to a bishop. I knew, I knew, I knew. You know, you can sense that this, this person could be a pastor. I remember when we were going to collect vehicles those days in South Africa. So we, had, we went with a bus from here we went with a bus all the way many years ago with my wife to go and pick up a vehicle. And we landed in Johannesburg. So we were now to get another bus to go all the way to Deben. And so we are seated there with my wife. I went to refresh myself because, you know, there they had showers and everything. We went to a place and I came back. I sat. I said, Judy, if you want to go and refresh yourself, go. And I'm seated. And my wife comes. We are waiting, I think, two hours or so. The next bus will come and we'll go to Deben and pick our car and drive all the way to Zambia. That's how it used to work those days. And we are seated there. A woman comes with a bag. The bag is full of money, Zambian money. She imports uh, cars from Japan, and she would go with drivers and pick drivers, and they drive all the cars to Zambia. That's many, many, many years ago. And she had all the money in her bag, big bag, for duty to pay on the border. And she sees us, I'm seated there, I'm reading my book. My wife, I think she was reading the Bible. I'm reading a Christian book. And she walks to us and she gives us the whole bag of money and says, I'm going to refresh myself, I'm coming. <laughs> and she goes. No, I'm serious. And she goes and she bats and she does. How long did she take? An hour? An hour she relaxed, bought her lunch and ate. And I'm like, who does this? <laughs> Giving me all this money. And, and she comes back. And I called her. I said, no, 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 mama. Sit here. Who are you? She says, I'm born again. I worship at Maranatha, Pentecost Assemblies of God, Kitwe. My pastor and my bishop is Bishop Sky, the late Bishop Sky Banda. So that's many years ago. And I said, do you know me? She said, no. Do you know my wife? No. But why did you give us money? And I sat there and I prayed and I sensed in your spirit that you are born again. And I sensed in my spirit you are a pastor. That discerning, imagine, and my money is secure. You know, it can help you, even employing people. May you begin to discern. Amen. Don't employ somebody to come in your house and do damage to your children. From today, I bind that one. You shall discern who should come in your house. Are you with me, dear friends? This year, it is restored in your life. You shall discern the Holy Spirit. You shall discern angels. And you shall descend people who are born again who have sweet spirits like Jesus descend. But can I go to the tough one now? Are you ready? Are you ready? You need to descend. This is another example of Jesus who descend people. You know, now when he was in Jerusalem at Passover during feast, many believed in his name, but they saw the signs and that he did, and Jesus did not commit himself to them because he knew all men. Jesus could discern men. The Holy Spirit in him could help him, the gift of discernment. You discern in the spirit. And he discerned that these people, they're only coming for him to get what they can and not to follow him. May you begin to discern even your friends around you. 
Are they covenant friends? Do they point you to Jesus or point you to hate people? Segregate. Descend those things and say, mm -mm, this one will lead me astray. Teach them. I have friends, my friends, that, can, that help me to be closer to God. I have friends that encourage me. You can do it. And anyone who is pulling me down, they are a prayer request, but not my very close friends. I pray for them, but I don't allow them to bring me down. May God give you grace to discern that. I come to this one. Can we be in agreement? If I don't finish, because I have 10 minutes, I have a lot. If I don't finish, you still come next week? Because this is important in our day, you discern. There is an element where now you should discern evil spirits. You have Jesus. You have the Holy Spirit. You have, uh, G, you know, you are walking in the anointing. But you know there are evil spirits out there. You are not ignorant of the schemes of the devil. And you need to know. I remember when I, you need to know what the devil is doing, your enemy is doing out there. To live su successfully and victoriously. I remember when I was in Form 1, uh, we, then we were forced to join Cadet during Kaunda, Dr. Kaunda's time. And so I joined Cadet, and they would give us theory, and they would give us practicals. You would march, like, like, and salute, and run. Everything would do. But one day, we were doing theory, and they were teaching us how to handle the gun. And they said, the most important thing in warfare is to know the strength of your enemy. Because if you can cripple your enemy's strength, you have won. So before you shoot, we send spies. They were teaching us. We were just in Form 1. They're teaching us to be intelligent. I think Dr. Kaunda wanted an intelligent Zambia who can defend the country. You know? And so they were teaching us, know your enemy. Know, and these are lieutenants, captains from the army, teaching these little guys and telling us how to do warfare. No, I even learned how to shoot. I can, I can, I can, if it is, comes to the West in this country, I will join the army <laughs> and protect the nation. I know. I will protect the Zambian people. This is how serious we are. We were well trained. And others, we even went to national service. When I just reached Form 5, they stopped it. I'm like, ah, me, I wanted it. Anyway. You need to know the enemy. Many Christians, they know about Jesus, the Holy Spirit, the spiritual gifts, and I'm going to teach you, and you flow in them. But you need to know the enemy. For you to have victory, you need to know how he works. Because once you know, you will defeat him. I declare victory in your life. I said, when you go to your home, there will be victory. In your business, there will be victory. In your company, there will be victory. You will lead a victorious life on your personal level. If you are the one, wave your hand and encourage me with a big amen. amen. So I am just showing you what he does and how you, you catch him. Are we together? During the earthly ministry, Jesus descended many evil spirits in various forms. Once he cast out a spirit of infirmity that was causing a woman to have a cave spine. There is a natural sickness, but there are sicknesses. They are demonic. They are demonic. So this lady, she's not saved. She doesn't know the Lord. But she's, her, her spine is what? Curved. The devil bend her. Satan akonda bend her unto. But that's not your portion. I said, that's not your portion. Amen. Why are you not saying amen? I said, that's not your portion. Amen. I'm just telling you what Jesus did. So, this deliverance from an evil spirit resulted in the woman who was bent. She became straight. We see Jesus in many times. He, he removes and clean spirit. Somebody who was not speaking, they begin to speak. Some who don't speak today, it's biological. Something is not well in their creation. But some, it's demonic. If you cast out the demon, they will start speaking. Some who don't hear, it is biological. And they need biological, medical attention. But some, it's demonic, believe me. You pray and say, get out spirit. They start hearing. From today, we declare that your, so your, your relatives, they will be free. 
free from unclean spirits, free from evil spirits. May the Holy Ghost sweep over your family. If you are the one, wave your hand and say, yes! yes. Thank you, baby. You see, when, when the babies, you know babies, they can sense the Holy Spirit. They can sense Jesus. That's why she's excited. She can say, yes. She wants the Holy Ghost. Now, descending evil spirits the devil has departments. Did you hear what I'm saying? Let me give you one or two, but I have about 16 departments that I want you to be aware of. So we'll continue next week, but we'll end on time. Number one, here is it. The spirit of divination. The spirit of division, that's number one. And I need you to go to the house cells. You'll be able to discuss this in full. Let me see. Maybe I can discuss only one or two. We'll see. And then the other 14 next week. I want you to be aware. I want you to be aware. Where is the enemy uh, and what he's doing? And from today, victory is yours. Victory is written on your forehead. Victory is written on your palms. Wherever you go, it is victory. The spirit of divination. In Acts chapter 16 and verse 16, all the way to 18, listen to what the Bible says. Now it happened, as we went to prayer, that a certain slave girl possessed with a spirit of divination. This spirit of divination, I think, it is not from God. It is the evil spirits imitating the Holy Ghost who gives us the gift of prophecy. The spirit of divination, let me tell you what it is. Gonga prophecy. My gonga spare parts. Gonga prophecy. It's a spirit of divination. It's the evil spirits. Ningulu. Mzimu yonyasa, ya chivanda, ya satana, ni amine ya kamba. So this young lady, she's possessed by those evil spirits, and she's giving divination. And she sees Paul, full of the Holy Spirit, born again with Jesus, who brought her master's much money by fortune telling. The demons, they would say the address they would say, they for, hey, but they would say any, the number of cows there, anything. These are demons. Fortune telling, they tell the future, but it's all lies. You see, demons, they can come, they can go to a sinner's home, see the, the color of the bed, the color of the stove, and come in, in the house of a witch doctor and tell the witch doctor the color of the fridge. That's why their spirits, they move. Do you understand what I'm teaching you here? Mwila munafe pativi umuntu alena na fortune telling, chishimye. These are evil spirits discerning your spirit, Bane. Don't bring evil spirits in your family. Yes. The girl followed Paul. And when Kwatum Pashua, a special spirit of divination, follows Christians. It followed Paul and us, Dr. Luke and others, and cried out, listen to what it says. These men are the servants of the Most High God who proclaim to us the way of salvation. Now I ask you honestly, is there anything wrong with that statement? You see how they do? They deceive you. They say the right words, but it's an evil spirit. It is there to deceive you. So tabakalande chibi at not mwala fwa mulecha face pa kwa mboko tiba mister woo ba mi konse mube under a spell. They will say the right things. So she says the right things because the demons knew Paul was preaching the way of salvation. But watch this. Watch this. Watch this. But Paul greatly annoyed. He descended. Holy anger. Turned and said to the spirit and commanded it in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out of her. And what happened? And he came out. That spirit came out that very hour. It's the evil spirit. 
It's not prophecy. Uku vocational yaba mami bobe. Uku vocational yaba daddy bobe. These are evil spirits. Stay away. Stay away from evil spirits. And Paul, he discerned in his spirit. This is the only point I will say here. Today and I will release you. Next week, don't miss. Do come on time. Come on time. In fact, you are missing out. This praise team in Zambia, they are the best. In Africa, they are the best. I'm enjoying worship. I don't know why you come late. You give Jesus 50 minutes. What's your problem? Me, I'm going to release you now. Your time is up. But why don't you give Jesus two hours? Give him two hours. It belongs to him, by name. Eh? Yeah. Let me end with this. What are the manifestations of this spirit? Fortune telling. Soothsayers. Warlock, Satanist, Witch Winkok. You know, Pagan. All these names are part of books. If you want to star gazer, zodiac, nangu movie zodiac, it's satanic. Horoscope, reading stars and reading your months, what will happen next week, it's demonic. The rebellion. Demonic. Eh? Rebellion. You know, Krista had to hypernize. Hey, I'm just what's that? Swing. Those are demonic powers. Enchanters, drugs, water spirits, water witching. Ine amen. Shaya mwa te mwa amen. Shile lole keni mpiri kishye. Musha mwa di ishi wako bafumi amen shaya. Do you know there are water spirits? Yeah, be able to ascend dimension. But the camouflage, holy water. Allah mila nuanko. That's why inga wa nuan no lala. Stay away from this rubbish in the name of Jesus. Stay away from this rubbish, man. That is holy anger. I've crushed them. By single of that act, I've destroyed whatever they said upon you. Every spell in your life, I crush it. I said, I crush it in the name of Jesus. You did not know, but today you, today you know. Don't buy anointing oil. You ask them, And I, I challenge other ministers to stop this nonsense. Where did you see Jesus Christ selling on anointing oil? Show me the verse. Show me the verse of Palestine anointing oil or less. Pets are popenia. There are not carried upon holy hunger like my friend, Apostle Paul. I come against a spirit in Zambia that has deceived millions and millions. The spirit of false prophets. I bind it in the name of Jesus. I bind it in the name of Jesus. This country belongs to Jesus. This country belongs to Yahweh. This country is called Zambia. Zambi. God. We have dedicated it to God. Dr. Kaunda dedicated it to God. Dr. Chiluwa dedicated it to God. Arabi dedicated it to God. No witch shall find room in this house. In this country. If you are with me, somebody say yes. Every spell in our nation, we destroy it. I'm wondering why you are seated. It's a spiritual warfare. Others who descend it, they got up. They were late in the spirit. Begin to do a Jew in your family and detach yourself from this spirit. They say, Lord, I refuse every spirit, every spirit, an evil spirit, I come against it. Of fortune telling, false prophet, spirit of divination. I bind it. Please don't look at me. Close your eyes and bind it. And I said, I bind it. I bind it. How do you get rid of it? You bind it. I want you to bind it. I bind you. I bind you. You have no influence in my family. I bind the spirit of divination. It will not come to my siblings. My siblings will not be moved to go there. Every spirit of divination, I bind it. I belong to Jesus Christ. I belong to the Holy Spirit. I belong to where God belongs in the name of Jesus. Today, today we arise with holy anger. Holy anger against you, Satan. Get out of our nation. Get out of Zambia. Get out of Zambia. We render all false prophets null and void. Null and void in this nation. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. Hallelujah. I want you to lift up your hands. What do you do? 
Loose the Holy Spirit to move in your family. Oh, sweet spirit. Oh, may you be connected to Jesus. Reject everything from the spirit of divination. All these false prophets say no to them. And say, I want Jesus. Just begin to allow the Holy Spirit to flow in your family. Upon your wife, upon your husband, upon your children, upon your mother, upon your father. Please pray for your parents and relatives who like going to the foreigner, foreign, foreign prophets. They be pray, 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 Father, open the eyes of my mother, open the eyes of my father, open the eyes of my uncle, open the eyes of my cousin to see Jesus, the only one, the answer, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, our Savior. Oh, hallelujah! Spirit of the Lord, Spirit of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Prophetically, they, I felt the anointing and I felt such a, a anger. Not that I, I love you all. When I threw that bottle, it was an action, a prophetic action. In this church, nobody will ever drink that holy water. Nobody, you don't know where they get it. Those are charms. Stay away. Are we together? I have broken it today. I said it has been broken. If you are here and you have holy water from somewhere, I challenge you today. Go and drop it. Fish in Why are you walking in a fin too? Eh? I want to end here. Listen to this. The women yesterday, I challenged them. A normal handbag must have mac powder, a brush and have perfume, some dollars, some runs, and some kwacha. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Some sweets. Some, it's, some nice things. A comb. You can't be walking around with anointed water, anointing oil. If you are a woman, she bags. you are you and you are born again. No. Descend in the spirit. This is wrong. And check the reaction when you have those things in your home. There's no peace. There's suspicion. There's hatred. There's insults. But when the spirit of God comes, there is love. There is peace. There's prosperity. I thought you could clap for my Jesus. Those who are late, they are clapping for my Jesus. I declare peace in your life. Hallelujah. My time is up. We'll continue next Sunday. Are you coming on time? Yes. Are you serious? Yes. All right. Give me one hour next, year, next Sunday. Are we together? Now, I'm going to release you, but uh, we have 30 minutes break. Eh? If you want to be part of the Holy Communion, we'll take it. I have so much to teach you. I have so much. But anyway, we'll close. And if you want to remain and have Holy Communion, this is, this, this is what Jesus left us, not Holy Water. This is what he left. If you are truly born again, you shall, shall. Unless you are rushing for work, I understand. An appointment. Jesus said, only one thing I leave you. Drink the wine to remember the blood I shed for you. Take the body because it was broken. If that's all we have and it is free. And the healing will come. Not if you send us, send if you play, be come, 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 Amen. Amen. So thank you for joining us. Join us next week. We continue with this series. Let's clap for the Facebook Live in Jesus' name. <laughs>